Hey, so what's going on guys? Make here with Drug Through Reviews and welcome back to another video. So I just want to wish all my Chinese viewers a uh, happy Chinese New Year and to all my other viewers, happy holidays. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about another Android Auto and Apple CarPlay wireless dongle. So the folks over at AutoCast actually reached out to me and asked me whether I wanted to review their product. And they claim that the product is actually faster than the competition. And their competition, I mean directly the Carling Kit Mini, the, the one that I reviewed a couple of videos back. And that is actually a very bold claim because I personally have been using the wireless dongle from Carling Kit on the daily and that thing has been superb. But anyway, since they claim that theirs is faster, I will save my judgment for later when I've already tested it out. So today I'll be doing the unboxing and set up with you guys and showing you guys uh, what comes in the packaging. And this is a very similar packaging to the one that comes from Carling Kit. So anyways, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, do hit the subscribe button and also enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post. And without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing and setup of the AutoCast wireless CarPlay dongle. Alright, so let's quickly get into the unboxing. I haven't actually opened it, kept it sealed for you guys. So we can go through this together. Okay, so let's take out the wrapper real quick. Okay, so sliding out the lid. We do have something up here. Let me check what this is. Okay, we have a piece of foam to protect the dongle itself. So we have the dongle right here. So this is the AutoCast Apple CarPlay dongle. So we're we'll taking out that piece of plastic. Okay, so this dongle feels really, really light. Uh, you can see the dongle right here. I'm not sure why the flat bottom, maybe you can like stick it onto something, uh, I guess. But anyways, you can see AutoCast branding. Really, really nice, uh, unique design. All right, so let's put the dongle to the side. Let's focus on what else we have. So we have more foam. And let's see. So we do have an AutoCast card. As you can see, hi, read me first. So you can see a thank you card basically. So yeah, let's see what else do we have. Okay, so nothing else in the box. Let's see what comes inside this small little packaging. Okay, so we do have, okay, this is interesting. So we have two cables. We have two cables right here. So the one I have in hand now, this is the USB-C to USB-A cable for cars like my 2018 Honda Civic or even my Volkswagen Vento, they all use USB-A on one end to the radio. And they do have a USB-C to USB-C. This is a good addition for cars that are 2019, I believe, 2019 and above. Uh, most of the cars 2019 and above do have USB-C outputs for the radio. So this is a very nice and interesting uh, inclusion in the packaging. So that's about it. All right, so let's take a look at the dongle itself. We get this very squared off design. Uh, let me bring the Carling Kit dongle. Give you guys a closer look. So in terms of size wise, this is of course the Carling Kit Mini. So this is really, really small. The Link Carling Kit version has a uh, overall more rounded design as compared to the AutoCast version. So this has uh, sharper corners. We do have a small little, I guess an LED light similar to the one we have on the Carling Kit dongle. So that's about it. So we will plug it in now to the radio and then we will check this thing out together. Alright guys, so now I've got the USB-C cable connected to the AutoCast dongle. Of course, I do need to mention that the dongle USB-C port is really, really recessed. Really, really recessed and I don't think many uh, USB-C cables are going to fit except for the original ones. But yeah, that's what I can see from the design. Okay, so I got it plugged in. You can see there's an LED light right here. So that means the one on the back is not LED. It's probably a reset switch or something. So you can see right here, you can see that the screen has already come up for the Apple CarPlay dongle. So you can see always enable. Okay, so now it's on the loading screen. We'll see what happens next. So overall, the interface is more or less the same. Uh, 
I find like this is pretty good. But of course, you do have to take in consideration the head unit as well. The head unit on the Volkswagen Vento or January Volkswagens are way more responsive than this one that comes with my Honda Civic. So yeah, the Honda Civic one is pretty laggy. I'm not sure why, I guess not enough RAM or the processor is just plain slow. Uh, but the Volkswagen ones are really, really good. So the setup process might differ. You might find it to be a little like stuttery, I should say, uh, when setting it up with a head unit like the one on the Honda Civic. Okay, so Bluetooth device. So I guess I do have to connect. Let me see. Do I press anything here? I guess not. All right, so let me get into the settings for my iPhone itself and see what comes up. So I guess this should be under yes. So under the Bluetooth devices, you can see this Auto QC 8S. So I guess we have to click on it. Okay, I've clicked on it. Let's see what happens. So we do have a pairing request. So I have to click pair to allow. See how fast this process is. If this connects right away, this is way faster than the one from Carling Kit already. So yeah, fingers crossed. So you can see, use CarPlay, just like that. See, do we have any action from the dongle? Okay, we are already done. Wow, this this process is way quicker than the one on the Carling Kit one, for sure. So I can say they, they meant faster in the setup process. So for the setup process, why is faster? But um, what I noticed from the Carling Kit version of the dongle is that there's definitely some latency when playing music. So we'll see right here. Let's click on the app. I had an issue when pausing and playing music. So I will search for some NCS tracks so I do not get like copyright issues. Give me a second. Okay, so right here we have some no copyright music. We will play it. Let's see if we do have the latency or not. Okay, here's some stuttering. Oh, okay. Let's pause it. So we still do have the lag. Can you really hear the lag? Let's play it again. Okay, what a shame. It's not even playing. Let me unplug it and plug it back in. Okay, let's plug it back in. Okay, let's see what happens next. So I got it plugged in. We have it loading again. Okay, it should auto connect to my device. Okay, I feel it's connected on my device because as you can see it's the car version. Okay, we have Apple CarPlay and let's see, we have a black screen. Okay, finally it's showed up. Let's try to play the sound again, the song again. Okay, so it's playing right here, but uh, I'm not getting any sound on my stereo, which is really, really weird. Okay, let's try to like raise the volume no it's not on silent okay what a bummer um give me a few seconds let me figure it out a few moments later all right guys so i've been actually trying for the past five to ten minutes trying to figure out why is there no sound and i actually didn't manage to figure out the source i even tried resetting it by poking the hole on the at the rear but no it still didn't work but however i find that the latency on this is slightly better compared to the Carling Kit version, you can see right here when I'm moving the slider, very slight latency compared to the Carling Kit version. The Carling Kit, there was like a one to one and a half second delay, but this is slightly faster. However, there is totally no sound. Let me see the GPS works. Everything works basically except for Spotify. So it means there's basically no sound at all coming out from the dongle, which is kind of a bummer. I do have to contact them regarding this i do have to contact autocast i've been trying to figure out what's going on so far in terms of first impressions this is a uh, mixed bag everything is good for me i find the setup process is so much better so much quicker but when it comes to the overall reliability there's something i do have to test out and 
give you guys my opinion in the next video when I re-review the AutoCast and do a comparison of the AutoCast versus the Carling Kit version of the Apple CarPlay dongle. So, as of now, no sound. I will contact uh, AutoCast and see um, how they can help me solve this problem. So, anyways, I'll end this video at this point and I will come back to you guys when I find a solution to this issue. So, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, give, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next video.